The Bible says in, in Leviticus 19, there's a couple other verses regarding thieves and, and people who would, who would steal. Thou shalt not defraud thy neighbor, neither rob him. The wages of him that is hired shall not abide with thee all night until the morning. And, you know, this is, this is a little bit of a side note from, from what we just read on, on just stealing in general. But, um, man, would to God that this could be practiced even today. You know, people who um, get hired for a job, that the wages aren't held back. There's a lot of people that rely on the wages that they make, even for a day, that having to wait a week or having to wait two weeks to get paid for work that you've already done, that's not right. And the Bible's saying you're, you know, you're not supposed to defraud thy neighbor nor rob him. And that when you're, not, when you're withholding the pay that someone has worked for and they earn and they deserve to have, you know, you're defrauding them. It's like, well, wait a minute, I've worked all these days and you're still not paying me. You know, I need this money to survive. And, you know, we live in a society where it's just normal for people to get paid every week or every two weeks or whatever, and just kind of like that's when you get your paycheck. But that's not the way that God designed it. According to the Bible, it's, you know, you put in a day's worth of work, you get paid for that day's worth of work. And you don't sit on it. And you give that person their money for whatever they've worked so that you are trued up with them on a daily basis. That's right. And, that, and that, that, is, that is the way that people ought to be doing business. Now, it may not be the way it's done now, but again, we look to God's laws, not to just what man comes up with and decides is better. Um, the Bible says in Proverbs 6, verse 30, Men do not despise a thief if he steal to satisfy his soul when he is hungry, but if he be found, he shall restore sevenfold. He shall give all the substance of his house. And... Um, you know, basically saying that people, and this was in context of, of you know, adultery, you know, men aren't going to look past adultery. It's going to make them angry. It's going to make them want to kill somebody, and rightfully so. But, you know, obviously if someone steals from you, you can, you can get over that. You can just say, like, yeah, I'm not going to, you know, especially if someone's poor and hungry, and they, you know, okay, I get it. Yeah, you better pay me, you know, what you've, you, you've owned. It's going gonna, it's gonna to do a lot more damage to you because you decide to steal as opposed to, you know, stealing someone's wife, right? That's, that's a much bigger deal. But uh, my whole point of bringing up that verse is, you know, the thief is going to be hurt financially, and they ought to be hurt financially to, uh, to make it not that good of, a, of an option. You know, a thief that's going to go and steal something like an ox or a sheep, they have to restore four or five fold. I mean, think about how many times then you'd have to be successful in stealing to kind of, to make, to make it a, you know, a cost benefit analysis, right? If you're thinking, if you're thinking in terms of, of business, like, well, let's see, if I wanted to steal from people all the time, I'd have to just be getting away with it, you know, like all, all the time, really. But, but how many times would you, would you allow yourself to be caught where it's just like, this isn't making sense financially, to keep seeing, like, why don't I just go to work, right? <laughs> it's, it's, a much, it's a much better option, right? There's less risk. I don't have to risk being killed because someone might kill me and they're not going to get, you know, in trouble for it. So, you know, whatever. There's, there's, there's all those things. God's law is, is actually very, very sound.